No, I also kind of know the music's really is CD quality, is like playing off the CD thing, because it's sort, of, it's sort of like in the Spyro games where the music has to reset. Oh, yeah. Which can kind of make things feel a bit weird. It kind of reminds me when I played a Muppet Monster Adventure for the PS1. Is it not that 3D game you showed me before? Yeah, that one that's very Spyro. Mm. Very good. Kind of, it's really basic, but it, it plays it safe. But it, it, I think it does what it does well. Oh, yeah. Three, to be fair, three D platformers I can imagine are really hard to get right. So it's probably best to play it safe at first. You know? I mean, yeah. Like, as much crap as people give the three D Sonic games, like, I can imagine that taking a lot of effort trying to get right. Uh, you kind of cut out a little bit there. What was the last thing you heard me say? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I was just saying, uh, as much crap as people give 3D Sonic games, I can imagine those uh, games, th those being really hard to make. Like, considering how far Sonic goes and how big they have to make the stages and all these other things uh, to, to do with, like, physics and all that. Like, yeah. that's going to take a lot yeah, of work. I see. What the hell? Yeah. What is that? Uh, yeah. Those are... Basically, you get you get enough things. You go to those like the magician, I guess, and you do a little mini game, and they're stupid. Hmm? It's stupidly hard. Yeah, basically, you barely get enough uh, get enough time. You have to get all the things in the in the uh, mini game, and you get a one up. It, like, but like, it? It, it's a good it's a good reward, but it takes. Good luck trying to get it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also the another co connection to Origins is the world map. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't do anything. But you, you basically just have to wait for like twenty seconds before you can actually do the level. Whoa! Whoa! Is he trying to say something? I guess. He's a weird looking fella. Oh, I was wearing that a fire flip. But it light up the dark. Okay. <laughs> so this is... Probably... Oh god. Yeah. I don't even need to say, say anything about this. So it's kind of the Rain Man's hand. Pretty much. Oh my god, once you, if you attack, good luck finding yourself. You have to stay still. Yeah, it's not... T they they aren't too evil with, like, amount the amount of enemies here, thankfully, but there are... Well, I can imagine the biggest problem for a little like this would be the, uh, the purple rings. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> good job, Rayman. And it, oh man, that's like 06 drowning. <laughs> and there's also the fact that there are some cages in here as well. So good luck. Oh god. Good luck trying to find them. See, oh. see, I, I, I only got got all the cages once, and that was my first playthrough, and I don't care enough to do it again. Yeah, I can imagine why. Yeah. But you got all. The, but do you get all the cages in this playthrough? No, I, I, I just. It's not really interesting to uh, to watch some a playthrough like that. Just I went through all the all the stages like normal. They just put a code in to get to the final level. Oh hey, those are the guys. Oh, those are those one that didn't just shoot missed Is that you and Origins? Yeah. Except they except I'm pretty sure in Origins they had limbs. Mm. Yeah, it's a thing in um. What was it? Well, two things. Um, they yeah they brought back a couple of enemies for okay. Origins. Oh wow. But, um, that jump right there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the um. Did you get a one off? I f yeah, I, f I think so. I don't know. It's almost like a bit weird. I couldn't tell what I got, but I got something. I'm gonna guess a cage would be like up there on the left. Probably. Keep shooting, Rayman. Your hand will come back. And it's it's still kind of disorienting because it goes flying all over the place. Screen scroll isn't exactly helping there. No. <laughs> and thankfully, that's all you have to worry about. That. It's the only time you. It's the only level that does the dark level. 
Yeah, only only section. Now it's all all in the little cave area. So it's not it's not too bad, but it could be a. I don't see why they wanted to add that at all. That's right, I guess. And it's only it's only a one shot gimmick. Yeah, I suppose. I just never really liked those kinds of gimmicks. What darkness levels? Yeah. Well, like one example that comes to mind in particular is um, uh, what was that? is the squawk shaft in uh, I think it was called in uh, DKC one. Oh, I know but some. The one where every time uh, the one where every time uh, you turn the turn around the in squawks flashes the camera. Oh yeah. You know the total. Oh, that's. Especially on an actual Super Nintendo cart. I, s <clears throat> I think they uh, fixed that on re-releases though, because um, when I played it, um, well, when I did an LP of uh, DKC One, the uh, when I turned around, it it didn't really flash that much. Yeah. Um. I yeah, because I also had the uh, the Game Boy Advance version of a uh, DKC One, and it didn't flash the camera at all. I don't remember what it was on the Game Boy Color version. No, I said Game Boy Advance. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, but I was just saying, uh, because I played the Game Boy, I grew up in the uh, Game Boy Color version, <laughs> but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's not ball right there. <laughs> hmm. But, yeah. The... Oh. Yes, the, yeah, that's way too specific. I'm surprised you don't do jump cuts at this point. Why? Well, I, I would if this wasn't, like, the whole raw. Ugh. I don't even remember like how much I failed on this. Well, yeah, well this is an hour long video, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's still splitting us having like 15 minute parts or so. Uh, that's what I've been doing so far, so. Yeah. I mean, cause I can imagine the hell this is gonna be doing this is, uh, if, if this is one big part. Mm. Oh man. Also, I love these poppins enemies. Here. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Look, some enemies just appear randomly. Well, at least it's not like poppin like Sonic Genesis. It, well, it's a it's a um, part of the game. Like, you you know how I, you know, you saw that how the case just popped in there. Yeah, it's basically that. Like the same thing with items just appearing during during like w when you're in. On a certain platform or something, it's the same thing happens with enemies. You see happening here. Yeah, there's one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see Rayman dance. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Ding. <laughs> oh god. You know, at this point, I'm surprised you're not abusing the night, even night lives. Well. I try to be somewhat fair. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now the time trial. Wait. <laughs> I was trying to imagine doing that on this game. So we can see uh, the Rayman, so we can see, so we can see the dances. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh... Oh god. I thought it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, and we have the knockback. Yep. Oh god, how you- that's precise and a half. Yeah, I- Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck doing this the first time. Mm. But no, I was just saying, uh, before, like, uh, they- one thing- one thing uh, that um, Origins seemed to do is that a lot of the enemies that had no limbs in this game were given limbs. Because, like, apparently they just had the hardest time trying to give, like, people limbs uh, during the development. It's like they couldn't figure out how, how to do it right or something. So I can, well, I can imagine all these animations look kind of weird with limbs. Mm. So, like, and then it just... I actually, actually just picture that Rayman just losing his hands on it like that. <laughs> To get that cage. Yeah. It's like um, that actually originated the whole like, um, like punching your fists really far away and stuff like that. <laughs> so I don't know. I I, I kind of like that. 
It kind of gives the uh, Rayman a little um, identity. <laughs> well, I'm saying, well, mo there's, I just, I, there's certainly a lot of charm just looking around this place. Mm. Like it, to simple have like the enemies like look because it, everything in this is really nicely animated. Too. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, this. G How you doing, buddy? <laughs> so like the, the way this game looks and sounds is just really good. Mm -hmm. It's. It's like it's like it has some it has some really cartoony sound effects, but that's kind of what it was going for, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Especially like it knows what it wants to do. Yeah, especially compared to two and three. Well, two and three is also a completely different tone. Mm. It's good. If you uh, gave uh, someone or showed someone Rayman one and then showed them like Rayman two after, they they'd probably ask if it was the same series or something. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I yes. I got confused here. Well, there was like a plug down there. Yeah, I, I thought... I didn't think I was supposed to hit it. I thought it was already on. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to die by spikes. Yeah, it's like... That animation is really inconsistent because, like, on a platform full of spikes, you're supposed to instantly die like that. But I swear, like, half the time I just get... Like, I just get hit once like normal. So I don't understand why how that works. Well, is that like the animation you did? It's from like when he dies like instantly. Yeah, when he uh, gets gets um well lands on a bunch of spikes. Yeah. Mm. I guess maybe it depends if he's in the air or not. Mm. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, walking in the spikes. <laughs> From the, so from the side, even. What does that remind me of? Hmm. Oh, um... I want to say, basically, it might remind me of that bad Nick in a uh, Marble Garden Zone. Uh, which one? Because I only remember Bubbles. The, the rubber one. Uh, the oh, yeah, the rubber spikes. Yeah. Uh, uh, hang on a second. I gotta meet my mic. Fun, Rayman, it's a game. Where you run and jump and punch things with a fist. Sorry. <clears throat> Mom wants me to feed this to cats. Uh, I need a hot dog. Okay. I don't know if I can handle a game like this, honestly. Mm. I mean, like, I haven't seen the earlier levels, but I can imagine it'd be. I don't know what happened there. Uh, did you get crushed? I don't- I think it- Thought I got hit by a spike? I think? Well, is there crush- is there crush damage? I don't think so. I don't even think you can get crushed by anything. Mm. Could be wrong. But no, you see- Can you uh, see what I mean by, like, the connections this game has to Origins, like, it's ev there are so many things connecting this game to Origins, just insane. Yeah, it's just that Origins is a lot faster paced. And it's all, yeah, it's all, it's it's um still pretty hard, but it's not like this level of pre precision. It's hard in a different way, I'd say. Well, it also doesn't have lives, mm. and that helps a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Neither, neither really did Rayman 2 or 3, it was kind of different. He just restarted the last, in the last screen you entered. Mm. Well, Rayman 2 and 3 had a health bar, but... Good That's what I meant. Yeah, good luck draining that. Well, I've died a couple times. Well, I've done it a couple of times too, but... Like, play the games now, it's like... It's probably not gonna happen unless you're actively trying. Well, he just, well, maybe he's really bad at it. Because uh, Ray Rayman 2 and 3 are really uh, easy games. Uh, well, 2, I'd argue. Mm. It's more so around the end, I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, I guess so. 
But Rayman 3, like... That is really easy. Mm, it's funny, because, like... It, Rayman 1 is, like, one of the hardest... Well, uh, well, I don't know if I'd say... One of the hardest games ever made, but... It's getting there. So, it, it's just funny how they started like that, and then it just went... Uh, down to being really easy. I'm actually remembering some. Wait, did you just loop around? Yeah, level? we did. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. That's like the one of the weirdest ways to go. Mm. And now we actually. Oh, it's all part of one big level. Yeah, that's basically how levels work in this game. Cause... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got like hit twice. My fist range was Man. too small. And, look at, and I'm looking at all this, it's like, your lives are already going down rather quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I got confused there as well. I think it was a, I think you had to crawl the whole time. Mm. Oh, yeah, can you punch while you're crawling? Nope. You'll have to please standing up. Pretty much. Remember, tools can only be used when I'm standing up. Mm. And you, <laughs> so my friends... They ain't require roofies. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, that UFO thing is stuck in limbo forever. <laughs> yeah, what is that? The UFO? Yeah. It's a frog racer. <laughs> one. Frog know. racers. I don't know. You'll get caught up in a frog race. I, I don't even know. Ow. <laughs> Oh, you didn't see it earlier, but in picture C, uh, that you have to basically go on a pencil sharpener, and you go, it's like a moving platform like this, and you have to punch these ball things away so you can actually move without falling, and, like, duck under some spikes, like, basically, basically pixel perfectly. Oh my god. <laughs> Before Saul. It's not well after your first playthrough. It's not too bad. Uh, when you know, that's when you know it's coming. Well, you can see you can clearly see it coming, but it's having, being able to react. I like the animation though, like Rayman. It's like when you're going really fast on something, and he's like, "Woo!" Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if you get these uh, tings. I was like, I wonder if she should grab these tings while it's moving really fast. I don't even know why I'm bothering with those at this point. Is this the last one sign? I forget. We'll see you in a second. <laughs>